Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. In this video I will be sharing two products that I created using the Midnight Blooms. And I also wanted to mention that the links in the description box will not be uh, to the Alexaberia Design Shop uh, because they are moving. So I will be linking to some other websites both in the US and uh, some in um, uh, Europe that uh, carries Alexaberia Designs. Uh, products. So I just wanted to mention that. I started off by foiling the Midnight Blooms with a hot foiling plate and some matte gold, car um, matte gold uh, foil on top of some smooth white paper. I also used the beautiful Magic Stars uh, hot foiling plate in silver and you can see how beautiful that is. It also impresses into the cardstock so it's really beautiful in real life. And uh, then I will create um, a second uh, card using the stamp. So I love uh, Alexaberia's um, combinations of products. There is usually every release one large um, like combination set with a die, a hot foiling plate, a stamp set, a stencil. So that is what I'm using today and I really really like it and you can see how beautiful this stamped and you can see the stencil pack here uh, they are also uh, some etchings so you know that you will get a perfect placement if you would have cut your panel to be six by six you could also use the corner alignment there is a square up in the corner so you know that you always get a perfect placement I'm using inks from Concord and Ninth and I'm using um, some um, sponges from uh, Picket Fence. Um, they are really lovely to be using. I have had them in my stash for s I believe a year soon and I reach for them all the time and they're perfect for stencil stenciling uh, techniques or using with small die cuts that you just want to put some ink on top. So if you haven't seen them, they are, I would highly recommend them. I will link them to scrapbook.com carries them. Um, that is also one of the websites that I will be linking to for the products that I'm using from Alex Iberia today. So you can see here really cute how everything comes together. And then I will uh, also be cutting you can see this beautiful uh, Magic Star die. Uh, so it's the same sort of pattern as the hot foiling plate. Uh, but this time I used it as a background and I run it through multiple times. And I also did some sentiments on top of some black cardstock. I love creating many sentiments at the same time, just handy to have on hand. I'm using um, sticky ink from WOW. And I'm just double stamping then and I press from Picket Fence. And then I'm using some white embossing powder from WOW as well. Heat setting all of this off camera and using the coordinating dies to cut them out. And that is something I really love. I love coordinating dies also for the sentiments. It makes my projects look so much more finished. So here they are all cut out and ready. And you can see by the way that I use the same uh, colors for my inking as I did for my background. Um, so that is also nice that it will tie in well together. I just cut small portions of the Starry Night um, Magic Stars die uh, down so you can see a little bit more of the cardstock peeking through. And then I use some wet glue just to attach this down to my card base. <coughs> Sorry about that. And for this one I actually sheeted and cut small strips instead just to save some paper because on this one you will not have that starry pattern peeking through so it wasn't important that this was a solid piece of cardstock. And this is something I usually do. I'm uh, really careful not to like use up all of my colored cardstock on one project. Um, when you're creating a lot of products, you have a tendency to go through a lot of cardstock. So I'm just trying to preserve a bit. So here is the hot foil. I hope the camera is picking up how nice the shine is and how lovely that is with the sentiments on top. I love the pop of black on top of, on top of my projects. I think they make my projects stand out a little bit more. 
and I will have some clear sequins in the background as well. I believe these are from Trinity and I just love them. They are perfect to complement any product that you have. These are the ones I reach for the most. I know that um, a Pretty Pink Purse has someone that I also really love, so they are also clear. So here we go, we have two finished cards. <laughs> Oops, I dropped it. I hope you enjoyed this video, this quick video I should say, and got a look of, of uh, some um, of these uh, products that I created with the beautiful Midnight's Blooms. Uh, the links to the product that I will be using are listed down below. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye!